My name's Ken Perky. I live right around here. I can't get any closer. I live right up here. Sweetgrass leaves are real shiny. Mm -hmm. Got the red root. You smell it. It's kind of nice, clean smell, isn't it? I have been out mostly for pill boxes and we use it for arts. My mother used to use it on making pill boxes mostly. They also use this for uh, ceremonial fires, like on a person pass away. And they take this and grind it up or break it up and put it in little bowls where people can walk in and sprinkle that over the fire. When the person died, they build a fire and it lasts from the time they die till the time they're buried. Sweetgrass is also like a woman's medicine. Okay. You know, used a lot for a woman's medicine for um, protection. The tribes out west burn sweetgrass and smudge with it. I'm uh, Brian Schultens, and my specialty is entomology. Uh, I've always liked insects, and I've taught the insects class at the biological station. I think for 13 or 14 different years. Have come to know a lot of the insects of the area pretty well. What's the deal with all the airwaves, man? Yeah, they've really come <laughs> in, haven't they? <laughs> in the, in the yeah. 1980s, um, we had to hunt to find earwigs. Really? Yeah, and this is a European species. Oh, is that, it? That got introduced and it's back. just kept spreading and spreading and spreading. <laughs> now they're everywhere. Uh, my name is Eric Helquist. I am teaching the Field Botany of Northern Michigan course at the Michigan Biological Station this summer. And my dad is also a botanist. I'm sort of following a family tradition, I guess, by um, continuing to, to uh, study plants. Plants have evolved these really pretty, you know, interesting ways of, of dealing with the fact that they're rooted in the ground but finding ways to get their progeny farther away from the parent plant to spread across the countryside. The wind is, is one way so you can have wind dispersed fruits. They can have runners like strawberry plants and that runner can actually be broken off and then you can have an entirely new plant. Uh, the touch me not which had explosive <laughs> movement of seeds. Um, there's a plant called Kakaili which is sea, sea rocket. rocket is the common name. And Sea Rocket has a, a seed pod that looks like it literally looks like a pontoon and it floats. The fruit of burdock has little hook, hook barbs and all they need is to find some sort of loop on, on fabric or, or the fur of a dog or, or anything else and then the burdock sticks. Burdock was actually the inspiration for Velcro. It was, Velcro was invented by a Swiss, um, a Swiss gentleman who one day came back with burdocks on his clothes and thought, and put it under a microscope and thought, maybe I could use this as a way to, to, to make a fastener. 